we have some massive news coming out apparently the raiders have agreed to trade quarterback Derek carr with multiple teams and it's not official yet there's obviously still a couple more steps that they have to go through but basically the raiders have agreed with teams to trade for Derek carr so right now dave ziegler already knows what these teams are willing to give up uh, whether it's a first round pick a fifth round pick a nothing at all Dave Ziegler knows what teams are offering for Derek Carr and the Raiders have granted quarterback Derek Carr permission to speak with these other teams these teams specifically that have expressed interest and they have agreed with the Raiders already on the compensation so with that being said it is now in Derek Carr's hands it is now up to Derek Carr to say these three or four teams that you guys have presented me I definitely want to go to one of these teams I definitely want to go play with one of these teams. And as soon as Derek Carr tells the Raiders which team he wants to go to, the trade will become official. Like, Dave Ziegler knows what he is going to get for Derek Carr. Dave Ziegler has committed with multiple teams. Um, and I'm fired up, man. This really, really excites me because we obviously were told that there's an 80 to 90% chance Derek Carr will get cut. We were told that Derek Carr will not bring any value to the Raiders, and that's kind of not happening at the moment. Uh, right now, we're told that there are teams that are interested, and they have agreed with Josh McDaniels and Abe Ziegler on what that trade package will look like. Keep in mind, this is the same thing that the Texans did last year with Deshaun Watson. Remember, um, the Texans presented Watson with three or four teams that were interested. Uh, the Texans agreed with these teams ahead of time on the compensation, and from that point, uh, Deshaun Watson just chose which team it was that he was going to go to. Um, you know, some people are saying Derek Carr could still force a cut. And that is factually true. Uh, we do know this right now. Dave Ziegler has already picked a number of teams that have expressed interest. And we know now it'll be up to Derek Carr. And at this point, if Derek Carr ends up getting traded, it's likely because Derek Carr said no. And it is likely that Derek Carr has told the Raiders he doesn't want the Raiders to basically trade him. Um, which, uh, in my opinion, is a disadvantage to Derek Carr. Right? I do think that Derek Carr's um, contract right now is much more than what he will get if he hits the open market. Um, the opportunity to make $40 million over the next three years is a lot of money. It's not guaranteed for him to get that same type of money in free agency. Plus, he's guaranteed at least $40 million, right? Um, even if he only plays this upcoming year on one team, he's still going to get $40 million. He can then in two years go and sign with a whole different team and he'll still be given $40 million. So it is just something to kind of consider for Derek Carr. Either way, I'm excited. I think this right here is the first step to DC actually getting traded and for the Raiders to actually move on. Um, personally, it's in my opinion, at least, I think one of the teams that's going to be interested in Carr is going to be the Saints. And I think that would be the perfect place for Carr to go. Uh, remember, we just heard that the Saints traded away Sean Payton's a contractor basically Sean Payton uh, to the Broncos and they ended up getting a first round pick for that trade so there's a chance the Saints may have interest in Carr could potentially give us that first round pick um, and if it's not the Saints there's still teams like the Jets and the Commanders and the Panthers and the Patriots that could potentially use a quarterback and maybe Derek Carr heads to one of those teams either way I think there's a strong chance that Derek Carr does get traded again if Derek Carr, for some reason, does not get traded, it's really because of the fact that, um, it, and, and in my opinion, at least, there's a high chance that Derek Carr doesn't want to go to one of those teams. Either way, I think it's interesting. I want to know what you guys think about this entire situation. Uh, will Derek Carr be traded before Sunday? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.